Let's now have a look at one revolutionary addition to ChatGPT's capabilities, and this is the code interpreter. While the name suggests a focus on code related tasks, actually the code interpreter is designed to do much more than just interpreting code and working with code. It is actually catering to both developers and also non-technical users. With these diverse applications that we can see, this code interpreter empowers now users to interact with files. And those files that are supported include documents, data sets, and even images, videos, and audio. And this makes it a valuable tool for a very broad range of use cases. To access the code interpreter, users must of course go to the settings and have in the settings and BIDA under BIDA features, the code interpreter activated. So this needs to be enabled. And then also again with GPT-4, we need to select code interpreter. We cannot select the plugins, but we must have the code interpreter selected. And then we would see that there is this upload file button that we can now select to upload a file. And this can include, as mentioned, different file formats. In our case, we want to demonstrate this with a data file, a very common application that we want to get started with. So to do this, we want to just head over to this website. So this is Kaggle where we can download a broad range of files. And in here, this is some supermarket sales data file. We we can see that there are some numbers, some invoices, we have some cities, then we have also different types of products, some quantity, and then also some total column. And there are actually a few more columns. So let's just not lose any more time and let's just download this file and then work with it in the code interpreter. And after I have downloaded and also extracted this zip file, I will see this is the supermarket sales file. I'm now just going ahead and click on this plus icon where it says upload file. Then I just navigate to the location of this file and I'm going to select it and click on open. And then it is uploaded and we can now interact with this file. So something that's very common in the beginning is that we ask to get some overview. This very quickly helps us to get some context and understand what this file is about. So I can, for example, just say, give me an overview of this file. And we have now a description of this file, including the column names, what these columns contain. And also we see what is very important about this file, some of the numerical columns and just a very good description of this file. And of course, now we can interact further with this file. Something that we can do is we can generate a broad range of visual elements to represent the data in a more intuitive and impactful way. By using, for example, a prompt like create a histogram of the daily returns, create a histogram of this and that, or create or generate 10 visuals to represent different data points. We'll do a quick example by asking ChatGPT to show us a line plot A line plot showing the gross income over time. And this is what I'm going to execute. And we see that this now triggers the code interpreter to work on the file. And this is the result that we get. And actually I have checked in Power BI and visualized this myself to just see if this data is actually accurate. And what I can see is that this data is actually accurate. So this is correct. And in Power BI, be aware, I had to really convert some data types manually. And this has been done automatically in ChatGPT. So all of these data conversions, everything has been recognized correctly. What I had to do manually with multiple steps in Power BI. So the data cleaning part is also a component of ChatGPT's code interpreter, that the data will be also cleaned if there are some issues with this. Let's see a quick other example. I also now want to show the gross income across the different payment types. And note also that in here, the column is just called payment. And in the description, it's also just mentioned payment method. 
So this will be not exactly the column name, but still this works very well. And I've not even suggested a specific visualization, but it has automatically picked a bar plot which is a very good choice in this case for showing the income across different types. Let's now try something a little bit more difficult because now we can see in the data that there is also some branch for example. And in here we see we have three unique supermarket branches and we would like to also add this to this axis. So we would like to have three dimensions. And now the question is, how would we even do this? So this is something we can just ask now also the code interpreter. So we can just say, add the dimension of branches also aside to Add the dimension of branches also aside to the payment types. If necessary, choose a different type of visualization that is suitable in this case. Let's see what ChatGPT makes out of this a little bit more challenging task. And in this case, we now get a grouped bar chart, which again is a pretty nice choice to compare the different payment types within each category. So this is incredible what has been done here. And also note that if there are some issues with the data, it will also automatically try to clean the data. For example, some leading or trailing white spaces will also be cleaned. If there are more issues with the data type, maybe there are some string characters included, maybe some hyphen or some other characters, this will be in multiple iterations tried to be cleaned and processed automatically. But the code interpreter's capabilities extend beyond just working with text and data. And those functionalities, as mentioned, go beyond just text and code, but we can also use images and videos, for example, in MP4 format and process this as well. Let's quickly demonstrate this with an example. I want to now upload this image. This is an image of something that we've generated in DALI. So this is just a bedroom in the ocean and I want to crop this to 16 to 9 and also want to have this room in the center. So let's see how the code interpreter is dealing with this task. I'm going to upload this image and I say please crop the image. Please crop the image to 16 to 9 with the room in the center. And let's see now how ChatGPT is dealing with this task. And indeed, if we have a full look at this image, we can see that this image has been cropped to a 16 to 9. And in here we can even see if you'd like to download the cropped image, let me know and I'll save it for you. And therefore I'm saying I want to download it. And then ChatGPT is offering me a downloadable file that I can just click on and it will start the download. And we'll of course see more use cases later on in the section about the code interpreter. And this should be now a first good overview over the capabilities of the code interpreter. And in the next lecture, we now want to have a closer look at the custom instructions.